So when white people get money, you don't even really know they get money. White people are humble with it. That, that's what I like about white people. Yeah, when they get money, they're humble with it. Obviously, you're going to get some flashy, flashy people who have to show the whole world that they got money. But the majority of white people, you're not really going to know about it. They will spend their money conservatively. You give a white person a million pounds, yeah, they will take little holidays here and there. They might get the car that they wanted within reason. So they're not going to get a Ferrari, but they'll get the little Mercedes that they want within reason. And they'll buy a few properties. Not a black man. A black man, you give a black man a million pounds and he will show you with the clothes that he will buy that he has a million pounds. You give a black man a million pounds. Don't expect him to buy an old property. Don't expect him to invest in stocks and shares and that. Yeah. AP Watch. Montclair. Fucking Ferrari. All these pictures on Instagram and that of these clothes and that. Black men are stupid when it comes to money. That's why black men don't have no money. Or when they do get money, it just goes just like that. And you know, you know when they invest in stocks and that, when they're down to their last little pennies. Yeah, that's when they invest in stock. That's when black people invest, when they're down to their last little bit of money. Because then they feel like, oh, well, boy, if I put this little bit of money um, into some investment, then I can get back to that stage and repeat the super cycle again. That's a good thing about white people or white men. They're humble with it. When they get money, they're conservative. Black men just turn fool when they get money. They, they, they have to show the whole world that they got money. Look, in, look, look, you see me? A man's wearing a Slazenger fucking hoodie. There's certain men, yeah, certain men out here, they wouldn't be caught dead on camera wearing Slazenger with a stain on it. Yeah, this is my work jumper in it. So, yeah, I've got my work jumper on in it. Yeah, there's certain men, they would not be caught dead wearing Slazenger or Umbra and that. Me, I'm a man with money. I don't give a fuck what image I portray. People want to think I'm poor. Yeah, I don't business. I know what's in my account. Yeah, but a poor man, a man that don't have money, feels like he needs to show the whole world that he's got money. Because he knows deep down he's broke. It's an overcompensation. Overcompensation. On the flip side, though, so, so we got white people like, when they get money, they're humble with it, whatever in it, yeah. And with, with black people, when they get money, they ain't humble with it. They have to show the whole world that they got money. But the difference between us, so black people and white people as well, is white people don't take money as seriously. I meet white guys on construction sites and they had businesses before, or they're in business at the moment. And a man will say to me, oh, I've done this deal with this person and I got knocked for 20 grand, meaning they got ripped off, they got bumped for 20 grand. Yeah, a man basically robbed them for 20 grand. What do you mean, hold on a minute fam, what do you mean you got ripped off and robbed for 20 grand? No, 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 no. As a black man, if you rob us or bump us, yeah, if you shake us for 20 grand, we will kill you. I know man in the ends. I remember when I first came out of jail, I was out of jail for two weeks. I bumped into one of my brethren. He got one girl pregnant who was one of them girls that has been through all the man there. He touched it. I've touched it. He's touched it. He's touched it. She's ran through five of five men, and we were all brethren and that. We all at some point could have taken a photo together sitting in that man's living room. Yeah? Us men are that close. And he got this girl pregnant by accident. Well, it wasn't an accident, but <laughs> he didn't mean to get her pregnant, but he weren't taking no precautions. So you do the match, you fill in the blanks and everything. You know, one of the men them said, well, boy, if you give me 50 pounds, I'll beat her up so she can lose the baby. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no way you could rip off a black man for 20 grand. A man is willing to take a life for 50 pounds. In effect, if you, if you beat up a girl when she's uh, pregnant, you're taking a life over 50 pounds. This man on the ends, you could pay a man a grand to kill someone. There was even a you from Northwest London. He went down to Hackney. I saw a video about it. When I was in jail, when I was in Felton, I met um, one Woolly Duke, same age as me because I was 18, when I was on Quail. 
padded up warm woolly jute and um he was telling me like yeah um then northwest shoots are on, on smoke he told me that oh some northwest shoot went down to hackney he was paid as a hitman the youth was like 15 or 17. he went down to hackney and he shot some kind of like turkish or iranian woman in the face so he told me this when i was in jail you know when i came out of jail eight weeks later i went and i found that video i couldn't believe it in it the reason why I remember that story is because the youth, after he killed the woman, I think he went and bought a Gucci hat and a Gucci belt or something like that. The man got paid, the youth got paid like 500 pounds to kill someone. So there's no way you could rip off a black man for 20 grand. You're dead meat, blood. You're a dead man walking. Why are people, when they get ripped off for 20, 30 grand from builders and that, they just take it on their chin. No, a man's coming for you, fam. A man's coming for you, fam. Because in a man's mind, Boy, he ripped me off for 20 grand. I could have had an AP on my fucking wrist. Yeah? And you're going to walk away with my money. No, a man's coming for you. A man's coming for you. So, yeah. White people, when they... they the good thing about white people is they when they get money, they save it, they conserve it with it. But on the flip side, they're just nonchalant about money. They don't really care. Like, oh, yeah, I just got ripped off for, for, for 10 grand and that. Wow. You rip off, you rip off a old man for ten grand. You will be in a fucking grave. You are dead. You are dead meat. You are dead meat. On the ends, you can't rip someone off for ten grand. They will kill you. Whatever, you can rip them off for ten grand, and they'll just take it on the chin. Probably uh, try and summon you to small claims court. What? Man, are, man, are gonna try and summon you to the court of my gun blood about rip me off and. Not me, I, I ain't promoting no gun by I'm just saying, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. That's how a man will react, yeah. But a man will, will try and take your life for 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand. Man, there's some mad stories from these people, you know, getting ripped off for 20, 30 grand. And what, the person's still alive, blood? Ah, you look, boy. Mm -mm.